everyone. So today is our final day here in Bayadalid. We've spent four days overall in this place and we're gonna spend our final day visiting some cenotes around here. There's loads of cenotes around here. I know it's common around the, the coastal area, around Tulum and everything, but this area of Bayadalid also has loads, I think like hundreds. So I think we're gonna be visiting three, hopefully. And I didn't mention in the first video of this uh, room tour that this place also gives us free bikes. So two bikes. So we got this one here and then we got Carol's purple one. So that's awesome because obviously the price of this place was like $29, but bike rentals can sometimes be like $5 each for the day. So you get that included, that's like $10. So great deal. So the spot we're going to is about 12 minutes away on these bikes. Just gotta go down south. And it's a good job I bought this hat yesterday because obviously for the cenotes you can't wear sunblock and it's absolutely scorching today, like 34 degrees Celsius. So yeah, I definitely needed the protection. Abandoned train track with a horse. That's the Cenote Oshman. Yeah, so it's just right outside of the, the main town park. You can see now it's just all nature, no houses or anything. We actually got lost back there because uh, Google Maps sent us down the wrong road. Mexican guy passing in his car, he probably he knew where we wanted to go and he just told us to go down this road instead, so yeah, he helped out even though we didn't ask for help. <laughs> so this place is called Hacienda San Lorenzo Oshman. I wonder where the cenote is, because this is like a hotel, right? I think. Yeah, or a house, I don't know. It's actually 150 per person. The blog that I read said 80, but as we've mentioned around this region, even during COVID, they've like doubled the price almost of everything. Some places have even tripled, so yeah, all the prices are quite high now. Look at this for an uh, entrance to the Hacienda though. Be a cool, uh, quiet place to stay. Got a nice swimming pool there as well. And I think the cenote is right here. Whoa. Man, I can't get enough of these places. Yeah, they're, they're, each one is different and it's nice to visit. Yeah, this one here, it looks like it has vines going all the way from the top into the water. Quite high as well. All right, let's, let's head down. Yeah, check this place out. So it's just us and uh, another group of people at the moment. Beautiful in here though. And the reason we came to this one is because, is because it has a swing, which this guy's gonna show us right now. Yeah, so the sun's peeking through now. Check out that color, beautiful blue color. Love these vines as well. They actually go deep into the water below. Probably would be able to see it better in the water. Look at all the, the fish. Yeah, so many. Yeah. Are you gonna try out the swing? Yeah, I think so. It yeah. could be fun. Yeah, it looks fun. That's why we came here.
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> you did a good job. <laughs> I know. No backflip though. <laughs> no, Where was the backflip? I don't even try. <laughs> the, be the best way to cool down. I think this is the coldest one. Yeah, so you gotta wear uh, you gotta wear life jackets unless you're jumping. Apparently, it's pretty good anyway. Easier to just float around. Check it out, the guy's gonna jump. Backflip time. <laughs> I'm warming up now. Not you. <laughs> okay, you can see the the vines up close. Loads of them. to the next cenotes that we're also gonna ride to. I think it's about 10, 15 minutes from this one. And it's about 21 minutes overall from uh, Bayadolid. That's what it says on Google Maps, but the roads that we've been riding on makes it way longer. So yeah, I think it, it is a bit further than it says anyway. The struggle is real. Look at these roads. <laughs> so bumpy. So the cenote we've come to now is called that. No, no idea how you pronounce that. Shikeken. Maybe that's how you say it. And this place has two cenotes. So you can either pay 80 pesos just for one cenote, or you can pay, was it 125? Yeah, 125 for the two of them. This one is pitch black. So in this one, you can rent these things for 20 pesos, either this or a life jacket. <laughs> Is it hard? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's flow. Once again, a completely different kind of cenote. Yeah, so this one is a complete cave. It's pretty much all enclosed, but there is a little hole up there. So I think if you come at the right time of the day, there'll be like a nice beam of light. It's a shame that the GoPro is not good in the dark because this would look a lot better. I'm gonna go like this. Somebody needs some help with the... <laughs> How do you call that? Lilo? I don't know. I don't know what you call this float. Oh, it's way better like this. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine like this. <laughs> Cow's mastered it. <laughs> it didn't look as good on the camera, right? No. But it's so beautiful. You yeah. can see the... How do you call that? Like a 
those things coming those from yeah like draping I don't know down. the kind of rock but yeah, I don't it's know either magical yeah so this is the only natural light source look at that little hole up there see how beautiful and clear it would be though if it was out in the the open Yeah, now we're gonna head to the second cenote, cenote Samula. Got some horses over here. You see, he stamped his foot. Really? Yeah. He was like, get lost. <laughs> yeah. Me. Check this little dude. <laughs> Play, playing with the plant. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> Looks nice around here, right? Yeah, like a Mayan hut. Yeah, a little Mayan hut. These nice yellow buildings. Oh, look at them get on the ground. What? Oh, yeah, they have like little Mayan designs. <laughs> yeah. So I haven't even seen pictures of this one, so literally have no idea of how it looks. Oh, can you see that blue already, girl? Yeah. Check that out. Wow, look at this one. This one's huge. Wow. Yeah, look at the size of that. Yeah. Look how clear the water is. Yeah. Clear and blue. Yeah, we're definitely getting in there. <laughs> <laughs> How good is this place? Yeah, maybe it's my favorite. Of them all? Yeah, probably. It might be. Look at those rays of light over there. Looks crazy. I like this clear part as well. <laughs> That's it for the cenotes for today. So I think overall it was 315 for all three of the cenotes that are around this area, which is pretty good because if you think about it in Tulum, just for the Grand Cenote there, the famous one, you pay pretty much that same price. And these three are way better, right? Overall. Yeah, overall, I think they were better and a bit different because there are caves and... All three are completely different. Yeah, they're completely different. Yeah, Grand, Grand Cenote, you might just stay like an hour there. And Which this is like... beautiful as well and worth it. But the three of... The, the group of the three is, I think it's better and so, cheaper. Yeah, and it's like a three, four hour trip overall, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, awesome.
cocos fríos. You want a coconut? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. I think they have them here. This local spot. Hola. Hola, amigos. Cocos fríos. Sí. ¿Cuánto es? Le va de por 30 pesos. 30. 30. Yeah, this is the coolest coconut spot ever. <laughs> Show them your chair. <laughs> very creative. Yeah, very creative. It's a puro bamboo. Puro bamboo. Uh, no, no, ah, yes. plastic. Mm. Uh, so this is a yellow coconut, but tastes great, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice and cold. Yeah, very cold, which is good for the the, the weather. Very yeah. Hot. I guess he made these straws, didn't he? Bamboo straws. Bamboo. Yeah. No plastic. <laughs> Muy alto. Este caracol se llega a escuchar hasta 6 kilómetros de noche. De noche cuando está bien tranquilo. 6 kilómetros? Ah, por 6 kilómetros la redonda. Tengo uno más grande allá, pero... Toca poco menos, no, no toca igual. Ah, este ok. Toca más fuerte. Este. Es mejor. Uh, va a tocar una vez más, pero de este lado. <laughs> ok. okay. Papaya, este. Papaya. Este, 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 siricote se llama. Papaya, este, este. Ya, esto se llama siricote, es como una fibra. Como una fibra, mira. Una fibra. Ah, para lavar la olla, los ah. platos. Ah, con sí. detergente. Ah. 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 Esto like se llama siricote. Uh -huh. ah. 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 Es, una, es una planta muy antigua. Usan los mayas para lavar los trastos, las ollas. Check out all these creepy faces, coconut. <laughs> There's a bunch of them. <laughs> oh, look at this one. So that was interesting. He was showing us around his land there, all the stuff he is planting. He said the next time we come, we can stay in his uh, cabanas that he's making, two cabanas. And he said it'll be really nice. He also mentioned that um, there's many cenotes that tourists can't access. There's so many around here. Like we're going to all these amazing ones. They might be even better ones or many of the same level. So yeah, really cool. very beautiful restaurant here in Valladolid for our last meal in the city. Yeah, there's a beautiful fountain. It kind of seems like it's a mansion, right? Like an yeah, old Spanish yeah. mansion or something. Uh -huh. And we ate here the last time we were here, like five years ago. And I think it's the only restaurant we remember, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we're starting off with some nice nachos and we're ordering fish also. <laughs> And what's the name? That's the main thing. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> we'll I write to, it down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> really beautiful spot though. Yeah. So we both decided to order this fish dish here, which is with garlic sauce. Yeah. Yeah, I think it even has bits of garlic as well, bits of pieces. And what was the price of this? 220. 220. 220, yeah. So not still not too bad for like a fancy restaurant. Yeah, like for fine dining, it's a okay price. Yeah, it's a good price. Really tasty dish, right? Yeah, everything is very tasty. 
Yeah, everything super delicious. Like the majority of food in Mexico. The rice here is really nice as well. It seems like nice and soft, different to what we've had before in Mexico. Good spot to come to. So we're in the main square here now that we showed the other day and we're just going to be heading back home now. We're just resting here, letting the food go down. Really beautiful here at night. We hadn't actually been here at night on this trip. Probably see the, the church is all lit up. Can you yeah. see it here? Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Even the square here looks really nice as well. Yeah, it's a good place to relax. And here in Mexico, everybody seems to like coming to the main square the in the square, center of yeah. the town. Yeah, it is a nice thing to do. Yeah, yeah. literally every town we go to, it's kind of like the same kind of a cultural thing, I guess. So hopefully you enjoyed our trip around this region. We're actually going to be leaving this region altogether and we're going to be heading to Oaxaca in two days, which we've never been to. And a lot of people say that's their like favorite place in Mexico when they go there. So yeah, I think we think it's going to be awesome there. We're going to spend quite a few weeks there. So that's what's coming up. So if you like the video, as always, just drop a like to support us. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you around. Bye guys.